Who is Jesus 17 were the two wills of Jesus in harmony. Did all the wills of Christ always want the Father's will? We know we have shown in the previous video that Jesus has two wills, his divine will, he came, he became man to proclaim the gospel to men and show them the heart of God in the best possible way, going as far as to die for those who insulted him on the cross. He also has his human will. A true will, subject to his intelligence, and which, of course, is united, by graces, to be in harmony with his divine will. So the human will of Christ wants only what his person wants, to do the will of the Father. However be careful. This human will is a true will. That means she has other wills. She also wants the being of Christ to be preserved. This will does not want suffering. It's normal. We do not want, for example, our body to go through fire. And so, when comes the moment when he is confronted with his passion, and well, in his free will, chosen, human, Christ wants what the Father wants and he wants to go to passion, he came for that. But that does not prevent the natural movement of this will, which she does not want to die, and it is quite normal. Hence the inner struggle that is going on in Christ, in agony, in the Garden of Olives. In the same way, sensibility, imagination, all this sensible life common with animals, which is not of a spiritual order, does not want death. She runs away, which is perfectly normal. We only have to look. Take an animal, threaten to throw it into the fire, he does not want it. And the body of Christ, the sensitivity of Christ, does not want to be crucified. We can then say that in Christ there is division, there are several wills that move in different directions. They are moving in their natural movement, but everything is finally unified by this profound human will, carried by grace and which wants only the will of the Father. I have come to do your will. So if we summarize, Christ has two voluntary faculties, divine will, human will, and in the vital exercise of what he saw in the Garden of Olives, there is has several orientations that appear, as is normal for a man who will die. His divine will has come for that. His human will only wants his divine will and his natural will does not want to die, he shuns death, his body too. But everything harmonizes in the end and he walks voluntarily to his martyrdom saying, My life, nobody takes it, it's me who gives it.